This is a great ball control and movement circuit that Coach Reed Sunahara uses at the University of Cincinnati. He'll start practice, and this is station, so there's a, each, each station has a time. Today it was four minutes uh, per drill, and there's three courts going on at the same time with different drills. So we started with, uh, again, kind of a defensive and movement drill, where you'll see where a defender will first dig a, dig a line shot, then move to the middle of the court for a tip, and then dig another line shot and move back to the middle of the court for a tip. And then the players just kind of rotate through in a circle. And the thing that uh, I think is, is, is worth noting uh, first is, is the movement is about, or excuse me, the drill is about movement and the coaches aren't trying to make the, the, the balls impossible to dig or you don't have people flying all over the court, but they're just moving. This is part of a, the first section of practice and they're just trying to get loose. The other thing that's worth noting is the coaches have great ball control. They hit the ball at the defender and then they tip it far enough away from them where they have to move and accelerate, but not where they're having to go to the floor. Um, this next drill is kind of a twist on just some serving reps and you'll see that you know after the player serves they have to hustle to the defensive position that they usually play where they'll receive a hard hit ball and then track down a ball that that's been tipped you know and and how often do you see in in matches where the player serves and kind of ambles into defense and that's right where the ball goes and and they're not ready so the priority on this drill is yes we want to serve tough but then prepare yourself for the ensuing play so the player serves and then hustles in is down and is ready to play the the quick attack you know so this is a, a good reinforcement to the server that they yes we have to serve tough then we have to play defense after we serve and then as a coach you could put a twist on this may put a pass around the other side or grade the serve or something like that where you're tying the skills together the next drill again the focus is on movement and you'll see how the players are just running through the ball uh, as if the ball was was tipped and again the coach isn't trying to kill the players or make it a diabolical defensive drill they're just working on moving and you know as, as we watch a lot of the younger players play the high school players the biggest problem that most teams have is is players don't move you know so this is a drill just to get people moving to the ball and would we like for every contact to be perfect yes but that's not the priority the priority is moving to the ball they're not dropping down to a knee they're not going to the floor they're just running through the ball and accelerating so you see as the drill proceeds there's uh, different types of directions they're moving forward they're moving sideways and all of this has has relevance to uh, to what goes on um, when they're out there with with six people and again all these stations are timed so the players are moving through it quickly there's no rest between stations so it's a great way to get uh, the body warmed up and, and ready to play uh, on, the, on the second part of practice so uh, a nice intro with lots of movement on on all these drills that we're seeing. Um, the next is again is a ball control kind of a defense ball control circuit where there's two contacts and you know after you dig you'll be the next setter so it so it's dig the ball you, to the setter they set then that after you dig as you see the person rotates she digs and she gets back in and she'll be the next setter so there's a priority on on ball control and digging it high to the middle of the court and again the coaches are, are hitting the ball with great accuracy where um, again they're not trying to make it a diabolical defensive drill what they are trying to do is just warm up and give the players reps uh, but they're still emphasizing movement dig the ball to the middle and then a good set to the outside the other thing that I was impressed with as we watched Cincinnati go through this circuit is how they organize the drills and how players move from one responsibility to the next if they weren't digging they were chasing if they weren't chasing they were the next target so everybody had a job to do 
and as you see in this drill where it's it's more of a defensive drill but they're working on digging balls that are hit low in front of them so the players are working on sprawling under the ball as you see there and again after they after they defend they'll be the next chaser so no one will just dig and stand there's always digging and moving to the next job so it's a great job of just organizing and having the players move around the court You'll see as the um, as the players go through this how they've worked on their defensive posture with their arms extended and they try to throw their arms under the ball so by the time they touch the ball the forearms are parallel with the floor and get the ball up high to the middle of the court. Usually on these these types of defensive plays you don't want to play the ball to the net if you play the ball high to the three meter line that's considered a grade up because because the team can set and they can get a swing in transition again coach virtue is hitting the ball with great ball control and and this is what makes the drill how she's able to hit the ball right at the shoe tops so the players don't have to focus so much on where the ball's going they can just work on their skill and work on their posture work on throwing their ball their their hands or excuse me forearms under the ball the last sequence that we'll see again is a dig set but it's more of a multiplayer scenario as opposed to just single players you'll notice that everybody has a role on the court the left front hitter and the center back hitter or I should say defenders are also primary attackers so you really don't want them touching the second ball because they're going to be their role is to hit on the third contact so the the first ball will go to any of the defenders but the people who have responsibility for the second ball are the left back and the right back the left backs probably a libro and she has setting responsibilities and the right back is usually where your setter hangs out so you know those two players will always play the second ball and then in a uh, a game situation the center back player or the left front player have main attack responsibilities uh, so everybody has the role within these drills a, a wonderful practice run by the University of Cincinnati lots of movement lots of contacts and great coaching going on